yo, 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 ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? So I thought I'd check in with you guys and give you an update on Bitcoin within nine minutes, ladies and gentlemen. So here we go. Bitcoin has made a nice little move to the upside. All right. So we look like we're holding around this 50 EMA on the 30 minute time frame, rolling over to the one hour time frame. You can see that Bitcoin is just slowly creeping up. Now, what you've got to understand is there is a big pool of liquidity nearby in Bitcoin. It's not that much if you quite if I'm quite honest with you. Check this out. So if you zoom into this zone right here, you can see that there is roughly about $3.65 billion worth of long short liquidations. And they have made one, two, three attempts towards this zone today. And they haven't actually taken that liquidity. Could be a setup for tonight, given that China has had a bank holiday and that the Japanese yen hasn't been trading quite well. OK, we've got a lot of news coming out this week, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I believe that Bitcoin may actually come up into this liquidity and take that three point seven billion dollars worth of short liquidations, which will then potentially set price up for a little bit of a reversal, given that we have just been moving nonstop to the upside. OK, now, listen, tomorrow is the inflation data for the dollar. OK, so check this out. They're already talking about the expectations of it being lower. They're talking about 8%. It's going to be less than 8%. But all we can do, ladies and gentlemen, is go over to the actual chart of the dollar itself to understand what is actually being prepared. OK, now you can see in the chart that we've got one bad boy green vector candle down at these lows right here, which is around about the 106.49 range. Now, we've recovered today's vector candle zone right here, ladies and gentlemen, which we marked off last week. But more importantly, we're holding this 800 EMA. Now, word on the street says that people should not put hope into the idea that the dollar is going to continue to drop. This is profit taking in those who are long on dollar. They're just taking profits and preparing price for another move. Now, there are analysts saying that the dominance of the dollar is still going to be going up. OK, now, if you are making money in any trades, all you need to do is pay yourself, ladies and gentlemen, because we know what the cycles are like. It goes up and it goes down. We've got this problem right here with Bitcoin, which is the green vector candle that has appeared from last week's move. Is there a possibility that Bitcoin comes back into this towards the end of this week? You can see that they've come away from the psychological range that we always pay attention to. All right. And usually the narrative says that when it trades away from it at the start of the week, it usually continues away from that zone. And when we come towards a midweek reversal, which is on a Thursday, we would expect price to come back into that range. All right. Now, going into tomorrow's data, ladies and gentlemen, you can see that we have got on Tuesday... We have the CPI data coming out at half past one in the afternoon UK time. And that's just before the New York live stream. So if you are new to the channel, be sure to like and subscribe so you can check in with the madness that rolls out during the New York Open. And of course, the futures markets, which is at half past two UK time. So I'll be checking in with you guys 2 p.m. for the New York live. After that, ladies and gentlemen, we don't have anything else rolling out throughout the day. It's just the CPI data and all assets across the board are going to be waiting for that information. You can see EURUSD takes a little bit of a nosedive, starts to work its way back up potentially. And we could see another move in Asia tonight, ladies and gentlemen, given that last night in Asia, they literally ripped price to the upside. A lot of people are saying this is short covering people that have been running shorts in Euro and now buying to cover. We've got vector zones up here at the 1.01363 zone. And then we've got a final zone up here at the 1.02827 range okay the principle says that we expect them to run back up into price into those ranges now let's go back into ethereum for a second now you can see ethereum hasn't had that much of a great day but you've got to remember that ethereum does have the merge happening on the 15th ladies and gentlemen so if we check out the calendar for ethereum you'll see right here ethereum mainnet merge now listen this is important for you guys it does say on here that this upgrade represents a fundamental overhaul of how Ethereum blockchain works. If successful, Ether would no longer be mineable cryptocurrency. Buying it will be the only way to obtain it. During the merge, some brokers will suspend deposits and withdrawals of Ether and ERC-20 tokens. That is really important, ladies and gentlemen. Because if you're currently in a situation where you want to get rid of your assets or you want to put them into USDT just because you can't withstand, or should I say, you don't want to sit through the volatility of this upgrade itself, you've got to act pretty quick, ladies and gentlemen, because the word is that some brokers will suspend deposits. And we know there's not that many brokers out there other than Binance, Bybit, Femex, FTX, a handful of brokers right there where most of the volume is conducted on there. We've got Coinbase as well, Crypto.com. We don't know which one is going to actually withhold or, you know, prevent deposits and withdrawals, but it's going to be a bit of a tricky time if you're in a position and you want to get rid of it. 
and you can't because they're not allowing you to withdraw any of your assets, especially for the guys who are trading spot as well. You know, you've got to be very careful with it, ladies and gentlemen. In my opinion, wait until the merge happens. It, look, this is what's got my attention. The fact that it says if successful, what a joke, you know? But anyways, besides that, ladies and gentlemen, Ethereum is trading below the 50 EMA. It's come back down and tapped to ever so slightly this range right here, but hasn't realized the vector candle zone. Now, what's good about this, ladies and gentlemen, is this. If Ethereum can get back up above the psychological low, then Ethereum will also start to trend higher. But we're probably going to expect volatility to drop down given the CPI data is coming out tomorrow. Now, all we need to be aware of, ladies and gentlemen, is the fact that if gold sustains itself and continues with this move upwards, then we would understand that the dominance of the dollar will start to roll over. But as long as the dollar keeps on moving up from this point, then we're going to have ourselves a problem. I said it. I would prefer everything to drop now and the dominance of the dollar to rise up because then once the inflation data comes out, it would be on the basis that they would be looking at giving a reading that is good for the US. In other words, inflation has dropped and then that way the dominance of the dollar decides to roll over. In other words, in order for price to go down, it must go up and in order for price to go up, it must go down. Are they setting up the dollar for a move up or are they setting it up for a move down? We will only know once the CPI data comes out tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, okay? Now, if you are in positions with Bitcoin, no one went broke paying themselves, ladies and gentlemen, okay? You can see that the 5 and 13 EMA seems to be holding relatively well. We have had a downward, se not a downward session, but we've been down a pool of liquidity given that China was not open yesterday. So USDJPY hasn't really had that much movement but we are expecting some interesting price action from dollar yen, given that it has done a good job of holding at the 200 EMA inside of this range. Concerning thing is that if we do see the Japanese markets and the Chinese markets open tonight, we may get a bit of volatility, which could actually lead Bitcoin to drop back down, given that all money will be going into the dominance of the dollar. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's your update with Bitcoin. Make sure you do subscribe so you can check in with us tomorrow where we talk about Bitcoin during at 2 o'clock, 2 p.m. You <laughs> oh, my days. There's your boomer moment, ladies and gentlemen. If you've sat through to this video, there is your boomer moment, the infamous boomer moments in the Traders Reality channel. You know what? It wouldn't be the channel if I didn't do something wrong. Anyways, if you are new, be sure to like and subscribe so you can check in tomorrow for the New York live stream, 2 p.m. UK time. Mad love and respect. Peace.